try to run down Dan Deming of KKM Financial kicks off our show to take a look at what's ahead for traders this week. Great to have you on the show, Dan. Thanks, Angie. So we have a slow start to the week, but then a kind of a build into the holidays. Yeah, so true. what would you be watching for? Yeah, there's a few things, Angie. Uh, like you said, uh, it, it starts off slow from a news item standpoint, uh, but certainly the market was gyrating around last week, and it'll be, that's what th definitely looking at that when you look at the activity from last week. We saw some volatility in the market, yet the market was still able to attain uh, the levels that it started the week from. So you're seeing a, a lot of uh, changing of positions. More interesting that the XLF or the financial sector really kind of caught fire yes last week when the announcement from the Fed came out about the fact that they might be moving sooner than the market expected. So that's good news for the financial sector. Are you in the camp that thinks that the financial stocks could go higher? Because I'm repeatedly hearing this from traders. Well, if, if they if they continue to get this news from the Fed that they are potentially going to move as soon as June now, uh, and certainly maybe now September, if not June, that, that ultimately is viewed as a positive for the financials. So we'll just have to see if this market can kind of hang on to the gains that it's trying to uh, hold on to. When you look at the SPX right around that 2050 level, certainly gyrating around their key psychological level for the market. Uh, so I think, you know, we'll see if we can hold this level and get through there. The financials certainly are in a position if the Fed's going to move to uh, benefit from that. Do you think the GDP number coming out this week will be the biggest indicator for traders? watching this market? Uh, yeah, you know, I think that that's going to be very significant, again, because that's going to lead into what the Fed might be looking at. As so, we get closer to that FOMC meeting in June. Absolutely. So that's something that, that I think traders will be keying on. Also, when you look at the volatility expectations in the marketplace, traders will be keying on that as well, because we did see a flare up last week, and we'll have to see if the market's able to, again, like I said, hang on to this level right around this 2050 level in the SPX. Dan, we've been hearing from some of the policymakers, some of the Fed presidents are becoming quite outspoken about whether the Fed should raise rates or not raise rates. Are you paying attention to that or is that just noise to the market? Well, it depends on, again, it depends on what you, you how you're, if you're trading this market or if you're investing in this market. If you're investing in this market, I would say that really is noise. You know, if you're trading it on a day-to-day -day basis, then it becomes a little bit more meaningful and a little bit more on a higher on the priority list of things that you have to pay attention to. But certainly that chatter has impacted the market dramatically in the last couple of months. We saw it earlier in the year when we saw, you know, a lot of the, the Fed uh, chairmen coming out, the Fed uh, governors, I should say, come out and, and really say, you know, they wanted to move, they wanted to move. And then, then the Fed Chairman Yellen came out in front of Congress and said, we're not moving. And the markets just went like, you know, there's such a disinformation going, or misinformation maybe a little bit. So they're keeping the market guessing. And with that, that's keeping the market, you know, on its toes. Like we saw last week, the reaction to that potential rate hike sooner rather than later and the markets really were rocked there for about 24 hours. Well, it adds to the mix. Lots of fun out there in it's, the trading world. It is. It's, yeah, it's interesting right now. We're seeing a lot of gyrations here. We went through some levels last week that the market really was a little concerned with. Like I said, when we were look, talked about this last week on the show, at 2050 level, 2045 mm -hmm. level, you know, we broke through there. A lot of a, a reaction to that, but then we were able to get back above there and volatility came in pretty quickly. So it really is interesting how the market's going to handle this with the Fed moving, coming in a couple of weeks so that meeting coming up in a couple of weeks. Well, thanks to you, we can handle the market better now. <laughs> well, thank, thank you, you thanks, Dan. Thanks for having me.